Hi everyone. This video was made by a mutual project of affiliate network Lucky Online and Tracker AdsBridge. In this video, we're going to tell you about AdsBridge settings that will help you to track your campaign successfully and make your work more effective and smooth. We're going to talk about adding offers, different types of landing pages, settings distribution rules, conducting split tests, and auto optimization. So, let's start. First of all, add your offer to AdsBridge. Log into your account on Lucky Online and select a necessary offer. Copy the offer URL and go to AdsBridge account. Go to the Affiliate Network section and select Lucky Online. This network is in the list of templates, so it's enough just to select it and click Save. Here, you can find a preset post back that you have to place at the side of Affiliate Network. Go to the Offer section, click Create Offer and place the URL from Lucky Online. Then select a preset network and save it. If you want to use not only an offer in your campaign, but also a landing page, you can add it in the landing page section. Select the option Add a self-hosted landing. Enter a landing page name, select a language, and vertical you are going to work with. If you want, you can create a group and add your landing page there. You can make such settings for more convenient search if you are planning to work with the different categories as Adult, Finance, Nutra, etc. In the field URL, Copy-paste your landing page URL. Select the traffic type you mostly will be sent to your landing page. If your landing page leads to one offer only, even if there are several CTA buttons but all of them lead to the same page, then leave the checkbox Multi-Offer off. Then copy click URL which you will need to put on CTA or click to action button of your landing page and save it. Pay attention that click URL domain and the domain of your campaign should match. If you use a custom domain in your campaign, change the domain of your click URL to your custom one. For example, www.mydomain.com slash click. If there are several CTA buttons on your landing page, each of them leads to a different offer, then click multi-offer on and indicate the number of offers. In this case, place multi-offer click URL on the buttons of your landing page, such as your campaign domain slash click question mark multi underscore offer equals one comma two comma three, depending on the order of adding this or that offer to a campaign. Also, when adding a landing page to a campaign, don't forget to remove the checkbox direct link. If you don't have a landing page, but you still would like to use a landing page in your campaign, you can create it from scratch in our visual or HTML editor. This landing page will be hosted at our site, so you don't bear any expenses for creation and maintenance of your landing page. Another benefit of such an option is that your campaign won't have a redirect that will have a positive impact for such traffic sources, moderation as Facebook and AdWords. In order to create a landing page in our visual editor, it's enough to make similar settings on the first page as in case with a self-hosted landing. Then click continue and you will see a simple for understanding interface where you can add an image, text, buttons, and other necessary elements.
You can preview a landing page by clicking the Preview button. After creation of the landing page, save it and it will be available in the section Manage Landing Pages. Then you can close the editor. Please note that a landing page created in a certain editor, visual or HTML, will be available for editing only in the editor where it was initially created. So please bear this in mind while creation. When creating a landing page on AdsBridge, you don't have to place click URL on it. Also in AdsBridge, there are ready to use landing pages for different verticals. They're available in the section Landing Pages, Create, Select from Existing Templates. Fill in standard fields as name, vertical, language, and click continue button. You'll see available templates. You can change any template to your needs in the visual editor and then use it in your campaigns. Split tests and auto optimization. In today's world of affiliate marketing, split tests are a strong must be able to do. First of all, in order to use your budget wisely, such testing is done to understand which offer or landing page works better, analyze performance, and as a result, increase your profit. On AdsBridge, you can conduct split tests between landing pages and offers. Let's look at different options. For example, you have only one offer and you would like to test three different landing pages for it to understand which one will have a higher CTR and CR. On the second step of campaign, add landing pages or offers which you'd like to conduct split tests for and click share. The percentage of traffic will be split accordingly between the number of landing pages or offers you have added. This way the traffic will be sent to several landing pages and or offer inside one campaign URL. As a result, you'll see which one performs better and gets more conversions and therefore remove the offer or landing page which doesn't convert from your funnel. To spend your budget wisely, we advise you to use auto optimization. This functionality is a strong must for any successful affiliate. So what does it give you? Auto optimization helps to find the most profitable landing page and or offers with the best indicators, EPV, EPC in real time, then automatically send traffic to them. This functionality saves your time and money really well. So how to set it up? Go to step two of creating campaign. Path, Actions, Activate Auto Optimization. Then you will see a window with its settings. Indicate the number of conversions after which the system will start optimizing the path. You can also indicate the number of clicks. Then select the period of time after which the system will start optimizing. 24 hours, day, or week. And click Apply. After reaching a certain number of conversions in the selected period of time, the system will analyze and rearrange percentage of traffic between the most profitable landing pages offers. You can check an optimization log where you can see your results and make necessary changes into a campaign. Rule setting. The setting of distribution rules in the campaign is fulfilled on the second step and includes two options, depending on the campaign type, flow, or path. Flow is a set of distribution rules and paths with certain conditions. You can create it in advance in the corresponding left menu section to add to the campaign later. When choosing campaign type path, all targeting settings should be done manually on the second step in every distribution rule. A path for the tracker is a set of campaign elements where traffic is sent. Offer, offer plus landing page, or split test of these elements. Let's look at targeting settings for your traffic in detail. There are 20 conditions for traffic distribution in AdsBridge. Country, state, region, city, language, traffic type, IP address, ISP, device type, device model, referrer, token, etc. 
the complete list you can see in the drop-down list when creating a rule. Token, sub-ID. This is a condition for traffic distribution according to the parameters, which are passed in the campaign link. For example, according to the traffic source parameters or any statistics data. In general, these parameters are entered into the first step of campaign creation. If you need to target your traffic by empty token, use the checkbox Empty Token. In the settings of this condition, you need to choose the name of the main token, which will be used as a basis for traffic distribution. The following types are available for conditions. Is equal to, is not equal to, contains, does not contain, higher than, lower than. What's the difference between is equal to, is not equal to, contains, does not contain? It's quite easy. If you choose is equal to type, it means that the system will consider the parameter as you wrote it. If you choose contains, the system will consider any parameter which includes the part of the one you have entered. Example, token contains G-O-O-G. It means that Google will also be suitable for this distribution rule. Token is equal to Google. Only Google is suitable for this condition. When Google.com, G-O-O-G, etc. don't. There is a logic OR between the rules, and logic AND between the conditions in one rule. The system scans distribution rules one by one and sends traffic for the first suitable one. If traffic doesn't correspond to any rule, it will be sent to the default rule. You can use several conditions of transition inside one rule. However, pay attention that the user will be forwarded to this distribution rule only when all conditions are fulfilled. If traffic doesn't correspond to one of the listed transition conditions, the user will be forwarded to the default rule. Example, rule one, conditions. Country is equal to the USA. Browser is equal to Chrome. Traffic type is equal to WAP. If a user from the USA follows the campaign link from Chrome browser, however, from his PC and not from the mobile phone, he won't be forwarded to the offer in this distribution rule because not all conditions are completed. As for the default rule, you know that it exists to accept the traffic that doesn't meet any other rule conditions. In general, any low converted offer or any link is placed here. However, we recommend to get benefits from this rule. What I mean is AdsBridge inbuilt smart links, smart offers. If your traffic more or less corresponds to one or several of nine verticals, dating, mainstream dating, mobile content adult, pills, diet and weight loss, camps, sweepstakes, adult games, gay dating, then put a ticker near traffic monetization above the default rule and choose a vertical. It's done. Now the traffic, which isn't good for your conditions, will be forwarded to this rule to make more money for you. Bot filter, anti-fraud. When advertising has joined the digital world, new threats have appeared and have started to influence the effectiveness of marketing campaigns. In particular, we are going to talk about bots and fraudulent actions, which are able to spoil the statistics and increase the spending on traffic without any chance to get profit. I guess there is no need in paying attention to what the bots and fraud are. We had better find out what harm we should expect from them and how to minimize it. Click fraud, fake views of advertisements made by bots influence on the statistics and your reputation as an affiliate in the eyes of an affiliate network or advertiser. In general, the number of advertising impressions is limited. Because of the high bot activity, your advertising is shown to a fewer number of real people and you don't receive relevant traffic you have paid for. How to identify bot traffic? Decreasing of conversions when clicks are increasing especially if you didn't do any changes in your campaign. Many clicks from the same IP, decreasing of users' involvement when clicks are increasing. One more effect caused by bots present in the campaign, cheating users' number. 
It leads to distortion of metrics and A-B test results and prevents correct analysis of marketing campaign statistics. How to find out about such activity? The rapid increase of one certain indicator. Requests from countries which are not included in your targeting settings. You should keep in mind that the actions listed above are not always fraudulent. For example, one of the fraud indicators is a visit under the same IP address, connected with the data processing center. However, real users who use a VPN can also be subject to this category. If there are more than 60 events per second under one IP address, they are most likely non-human traffic. That's why it is very important to analyze several metrics in a combination and not one by one. For example, AdsBridge analyzes incoming traffic for fraud actions, based on 10 metrics. To detect bot traffic and fraud actions in time, we recommend to include the following filters in your reports. Bot visits, bot clicks, bot conversions, and suspicious visits, clicks, conversions. The last ones show the statistics for fraud actions in your campaigns and provide you with complete information for further optimization and more accurate bot filter settings. There is a filtration function in the bot filter to remove the bots from your campaigns. It activates a special rule with bot conditions and a field for the link where bots will be sent to. Use this function if you know bot parameters. Add them to the rule which appears below and then all traffic with these parameters will be marked as a bot and will be sent to the link, entered earlier. One more bot filter option, detection, defines traffic as a bot and redirects it to the corresponding distribution rule of your campaigns, which you can set up. Last but not less important function in a struggle with bots is proxy detection. It sends the corresponding traffic to the proxy rule and shows statistics for it. Bot filter and its functions are activated separately in every campaign, so don't forget to activate it on the first step in the campaign. Multi-user mode. If you work in a team, multi-user mode would be useful for you. This functionality allows creating an unlimited number of separated sub-accounts, bound to parent account, and assign individual access rights for every team member. You can generate a password and send it by email to the other user. He will then get access to his account with a set of rights you have created for him. For example, work with campaigns, offers, traffic sources, statistics, landing pages, domains, affiliate networks, flows, etc. You can also give access to the user to campaign elements in other accounts. You can activate or deactivate subaccounts from parent account and monitor everything that's going on in other subaccounts. API is also available when working in a multi-user mode.